Oh, so this is a really, really old root. But yeah, we call it wobbles jeevik. And uh, so wobbles is a rabbit. And jeevik, jeepkan is a root. Wobbles jeevik is rabbit root. And you would think that this has something to do with rabbits, right? That this plant has a special relationship with rabbits. Uh, there's, uh, uh, and in fact, it does not. <laughs> this plant has nothing to do with rabbits. Uh, uh, the, it, rabbits don't interact with this plant at all. They don't eat it. They don't, you know, put it inside of their bed. They don't, uh, they don't, uh, uh, they don't use it whatsoever. They have no relationship to this plant. And, uh, that bothered me for, for years wanting to figure out why, like, <laughs> Why would we call it rabbit root then? Everyone, wobbles jeebik, wobbles jeebik, wobbles jeebik. Even like some farmers, like some old homesteady farmers, they'll call it rabbit root. They won't even call it sarsaparilla or, or, or know its Latin name. They just straight up are just like, yeah, that's uh, uh, rabbit root. <laughs> and you're like, e even these guys know that this is what we called it. And, and uh, it, it, yeah, that bothered me forever. So what I found out, though, is that this uh, this plant is f uh, the family that this is in is the same family as ginseng, so Aurelia uh, is this is a part of the same family of, as ginseng, and uh, 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 so it's a it's an adaptogenic herb. It's an adaptogen, and so it helps your body adapt to stress. Uh, and, and so just so to understand stress is really fun because uh, like stress if you're if you're lifting a dumbbell and you're stressing out almost exclusively your bicep and the more stress you apply to that muscle the, the heavier weights you lift for longer periods of time the more stress you apply to that muscle the bigger and stronger that it gets uh, and, and so uh, stress is good stress is always an opportunity for growth and uh, and so these plants that we call adaptogens uh, like, like wobbles jeevik, like wild sarsaparilla, uh, is they help you adapt to stress faster. And so you will get bigger muscles faster. And if you go for a run, you stress out your cardiovascular system. If you're using this medicine, you're going to be, a, your cardiovascular system is going to be getting stronger faster. And so you're going to be adapting to stress faster and faster and faster. Uh, but w what we need to understand too, is that each adaptogenic herb is going to have a specific niche that it helps with a specific way, a specific type of stress. Sometimes it can be muscular stress right and so we understand moose and the way they interact with this muscle medicine uh but it can be uh, and then to be able to harness the the adaptogenic qualities that this plant has with to help with our muscles uh that's a really fun one i can't wait till we cover that one for medicine wise uh but this one uh will help you adapt to the stress of temperatures so climatizing to the cold is a stress that uh that we're all probably pretty well familiar with that we all have to do every year like you, you guys all know uh when you go out into the fall and say like it, september hits and then we get a real cold snap in september and it goes down to like zero or like minus two uh you're gonna have your parka on and you're gonna be ready for winter you're gonna be freaking right out and you're gonna be cold it's like it's it's gonna be so cold that it hurts you're gonna be convulsing and whatever yeah but then you adapt to that stress the more often you're exposed to the cold every time you go outside you're adapting and adapting and adapting uh and, and then it, and then springtime hits and in springtime like when we go also be when we go to get our maple sap to make syrup we just wear a t-shirt and it's like zero degrees right how come in the fall i needed a parka i needed a sweater underneath my parka and now i could walk around outside in a t-shirt is because we spent that whole winter adapting to, to that stress uh this helps you adapt to that stress faster so this is something that you would have in the fall my grandma always remembers that uh uh when she, in the fall she said there's teas that you have throughout the seasons there's teas that you have that help that that are like a, in they're in, incorporated or embedded into our calendar of life and uh we had some really cool discussions around that you know me her and my, and my wife uh but one of the things that she was able to really remember is wobbles jivik every fall it was sitting on the sto on the on the table and so she would always and it was different too because she would make the tea and she would put it in a big bowl she would never use a pot or she wouldn't have a teapot it would just be like in a bowl 
that they that like a, a mixing bowl kind of just a big bowl in the in the middle of the table and you would just drink it and but it was only ever there for one week and only in the fall and you had to drink it and uh that's what it was for to help get your body ready for the cold and uh um it was really neat to be able to bring that back to her and be like, Hey, you know, it's that time of year again, let's have some of this. And it was just a really neat experience for her to have, um, that me, me and my wife were able to provide. Uh, that was really neat. Uh, but the wobble um, yeah. So it helps you adapt to stress. Um, yeah, I know. Right. <sighs> Tons, loads of ideas. <laughs> I'm actually learning all kinds of cool programs and the COVID programs. Uh, so hopefully something like that will be coming soon. Uh, but yeah, there's a really, really specific, really amazing calendar that, that we would adhere to. And uh, and so uh, Wobblesjivik sort of sheds the light on the So to get ready for the hot, the hot temperatures of the summer, we use alder, getting making alder bark and drinking that. And that tastes absolutely awful. Wobblesjivik tastes really good. It tastes kind of like a like like spicy dirt. <laughs> and uh, but um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we would use it to get ready for the cold, and uh, that's what it's designed for. That's the niche that it helps with. But what I wanted you to understand is that it's not just um, uh, it's helping you adapt to all stresses. And this is probably the most widespread, most available adaptogenic herb around the Great Lakes. Uh, that's going to really have the most effect on giving your body what it needs to be able to adapt to stress. And so the um, uh, in in that way, um, we need to understand now why it's called Wobbles Jeevik. Why do you think we named this plant after rabbits when rabbits have nothing to do with it? They don't go anywhere near it. They don't they don't eat it. They don't touch it. They don't have anything to do with it. Uh, the reason why we call it rabbit root, uh, Wobbles Jeevik, is because when it when this plant gives you everything that you need to uh, adapt to stress and when you're adapting to stress faster what happens is you have a ton of energy you feel like you have a ton of energy uh, but that's not really what's happening you're adapting to stress faster and so you're getting stronger faster and so uh, you have more energy uh, energy that you would normally spend be spending on adapting to stress your uh be, be, you're adapting to stress faster so you have more energy to spend on whatever else you want and so so yeah it does end up being like you have more energy but it like extends your gas tank you have a massive gas tank because the things that you would do on a regular basis that like say you're piling wood all day this is a really stressful thing right uh but if you're adapting to that stress faster you're going to be getting stronger faster and you could put more wood away faster with le less amount of energy and when you're done putting the wood away you're going to have a whole bunch of energy left that you could spend on other things and so what i want you to think about uh is why we call this plant rabbit root why we call it wobbles jeebic uh and so you think about what makes a rabbit famous what makes rabbits interesting and unique what makes rabbits different than all of the other creatures what's special about a rabbit why don't you guys throw that in the comments there for a second I mean, I'll give you a second. Why do you think, what makes a rabbit famous? I like thump better. <laughs> yeah, big ear, what they said. <laughs> yeah, uh, so you guys are pretty well right on the money. Um, they reproduce really fast. <laughs> Prolific breeders. Yeah, that's a very good way to put it. Uh, uh, but yeah. That's why we call it a rabbit root, because when you have this medicine and you're adapting to stress faster, uh, you're, 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 uh, you have a lot more energy to spend on 
other things. So that's why we name it Wabbles Jeebik. It has nothing to do with the relationship that this has with rabbits. And so sometimes the names of these plants are going to throw you for a little bit of a loop. <laughs> uh, but yeah, right arm.